guys, welcome to another TW Extreme. We have another jam-packed episode for you today, starting right here. Now, I am at the Victorian Women's High Performance Centre, hanging out with two of Australia's most promising gymnastics champions. We have Zoe Lorenzen and Britt Greeley. Now, I've got these girls spotting me today. They're also going to take me through some of the sorts of things that they get up to at training. And you might want to remember their names because chances are they could be representing Australia at the next Olympic Games in London 2012. Ready, girls? Now I'm off that, I can concentrate. Now, I'm not the only one having fun today. Everybody is out and about. Adam is hanging out with the Supercross champion, hearing all about what it takes to be part of the sport, and he's hearing it from an absolute pro. Colin's hanging out with a group of scouts. Tess is learning how to surf with a paddle. But first, Pip has a need for speed. Now, there's no question that Pip is an absolute daredevil, but I'd have to say that Brit here would give her a run for her money. Britt, you're in the AIS Olympic squad. Does that mean you're already in training for London 2012? Well, yeah, pretty much. Um, all the girls here that are age eligible for 2012 are already in the training, so it happens for a few years, so you're just wow. always training for it. Now, the VIS program that you're a part of, does that allow you to go to school as well, or is it all gymnastics? Um, yeah, we um, have morning training three times a week and an afternoon session as well, so in the mornings we start at 7am till 10.15, then we go to school, and then we train again from 3.30 to 6.30. So all up in a week, it's 30 hours of training. 30 hours of training? Oh, yeah. You must absolutely absolutely love gymnastics. <laughs> yeah. Now beam's one of your favourite disciplines. Do you think you could show me some tricks? Yeah, sure. So first of all, to get up, just lift one leg over. Okay. And then swing up. Swing up. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't quite swing, but I did get up. Yeah. <laughs> now what do we do? Um, now I'll do some backwards walking and you can do some forwards walking. So you're just lifting one leg and dragging it through. Okay. Yep. Right. Okay. Now is it my turn to go backwards? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's sort of reasonably easy because you can feel the beam with your yep. foot. Okay, yep. now we've mastered the walking. What do we do now? Now you can just do like a one leg balance, so lifting one leg up and holding okay. it. Yes. And then bringing it to the side. Okay, I'll try my left leg. Oh, and then to the back. To the back. Well, that's a bit wobbly. So yeah. are these sorts of things things that you would incorporate in your Olympic routine? Um, well, not really. We have... Um, very high difficulty routine, so a bit more complex than this, but this is always the basics that we do to make sure that we have the right balance, because beam's all about balance and keeping your body tight. So, so what makes a perfect beam routine? Um, I guess just like concentration is the key with beam, and a good tight body, and just keeping your eye Not on the beam. Yeah. Alright right. guys, we're going to keep doing this, and when we come back, I'm going to try my hand at bars. Brett, how long have you been doing gymnastics? Um, about 10 years now. So you started when you were pretty little? Yeah. yeah. And bars is one of your favourite events. Why do you like it so much? Um, probably it's the most challenging event for me, so when I learn a new skill, it's the most rewarding. Do you ever get scared? It's sort of quite high up. Yeah, it is pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> Not with this little pit that we've got going on down yeah. here. Now, I actually like it too, and I did it at school. I think I remember a few things. I'm just going to get a bit of a feel for it here. Yeah, I think I've still got what it yeah. takes. Would you like to see me do a flip? Yeah, go okay. for it. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that is much harder than it looks. Britt, how about you show us how it's done? Oh, no, she's good. Now, this really is difficult. They make it look so easy, but it's so hard, and that's just the trick I did. I can't even imagine how hard that would be to do. Okay, guys, while I stay here with Britt, you are going with Adam to meet a champion, another champion, actually, that likes to do flips. Oh, and that looked like so much fun. Now, Zoe, what would you say your favourite gymnastics apparatus would be? Definitely floor and vault. Okay, I'm glad you said floor, because Britt actually taught me a little bit of a routine on floor, and I thought maybe you could judge me out of ten. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Points at the start of the presentation. Possibly put your knees together in the full dog. Ready for the finale? Yeah, sure. That's yeah, pretty good. Pretty good cartwheel. Could have your knees straight. Nice finish at the end. Nice finish. So what would you give me out of ten? Four out of ten. Four out of ten. Yeah. Four out of ten. Okay, wow. Have I got some serious tips to give now. See you after the ad break.
Welcome back to the Victorian Women's High Performance Centre. I'm hanging out with Zoe, the top gymnast, who's telling me all about the sport of vault. Now, Zoe, what makes a perfect vault? Well, a good strong run, good contact with the horse and tight body through the air. Just like that? Yeah, pretty much. So how long have you been vaulting for? I uh, Eight or nine years now. Do you think that I might be able to give it a go? Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, cool. I'm going to go down there then. Okay, then. I heard that, Zoe. So Nat's about to have a turn at the vault for herself. Nat, whenever you're ready. Okay, you ready, Zoe? Yeah. Here I go, I'm presenting, see? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty good run onto the beat board and... Oh, dear, she's stuck on the vault. That wasn't good, was it? No, not really. No. Well, while I go and help Nat off the vault, let's go to Tess, who's about to go surfing with a paddle. So what do you think I did wrong? Was it more in the run-up? Yeah. <laughs> go a bit faster. <laughs> Now, girls, obviously London 2012 is the ultimate goal, but what's on this year? We've got, in July, we've got Australian Championships coming up, and that's the first World Trials and the Commonwealth Games trial. Wow, that's pretty important. Good luck for that, both of you. You, you both compete internationally. Is that fun? What, what do you like most about that? Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. You know, first when you're young and you go overseas, it's pretty nerve-wracking, but as you get older, it gets really exciting and... It's, yeah, it's lots of fun. And Zoe, do you have friends in other countries, other gymnasts? Yeah, when you go to the competitions, you get to know the girls and we try to stay in touch with them. That's really cool. What would you say, which country is our biggest competition when it comes to gymnastics? Oh, definitely the USA and China, probably. Okay, well, I would like to let you two get back to training so that we can beat the USA and China. Guys, that's all we've got time for today, but we will see you on the next TW Extreme. See you then. How's my stretching going? Pretty good. <laughs>